Hi guys! This is my tutorial for ink and glitter sunflower tumbler. I have already sanded and prepped my tumbler using an 80 grit sanding block and Rust-Oleum 2x spray paint in Blossom White. For the base color, we'll be using custom mix of glitters. I've measured all of my glitters using a measuring cup, so the measurements will be in milliliters. All the glitters used are from PDB Creative Studio and will be listed in the description box down below. I use the epoxy method to place my base glitter, but you can also use Mod Podge and a paintbrush. Let your glitter layer cure, then seal the coat of epoxy and we'll be ready to add our sunflowers. I absolutely love creating designs using alcohol inks, and one of my favorite designs is a peekaboo. We'll be creating sunflowers using the inks. All you'll need is some inks, a couple of coffee filters, vinyl gloves to protect your hands from the ink, and alcohol. I have 91% alcohol, but 70% works well also. I dab the centers of the sunflowers first just to get the spacing of the flowers how I want it. Then I create the petals using the orange and yellow inks. I go from dark in the middle to light as I go out from the center. You can make your sunflowers as big or as small as you like. Just keep in mind the spacing if you're going to be adding any text later. I try to keep a space available for a quote or saying that I'll be adding. Once you have your sunflowers the way you like, let your ink dry overnight, seal with a coat of epoxy, and we'll be ready to add our stencil.
Spray your tumbler with some white spray paint, let dry, and we'll be ready to add our ink layer. To start, I have four medicine cups, a nylon paintbrush, some 91% alcohol, and my inks. I like to place about five milliliters of alcohol in each cup and place my inks directly into the cup. This makes my ink so much easier to place the way I want and much easier to blend. I use a nylon brush and place my inks anywhere I like. There's really no rhyme or reason to it, just have fun. Be sure and make sure your paintbrush is nice and clean. As you can see, I neglected to do that. I had just finished a green tumbler spinning next to this one and I neglected to clean it well. I had to dump my yellow ink and alcohol and start fresh. So really make sure your brush is nice and clean. In fact, I like to keep an extra cup just filled with alcohol so I can clean my brush as I go along. I waited about 30 minutes and then I was ready to pull my stencil. Let this ink layer dry overnight and then seal with a thin coat of epoxy. I personally do not seal my inks, I just make sure to let them fully dry overnight and then I seal with epoxy. I use 15 milliliters on this 24 ounce tumbler. Now we're ready to add our sunflower outlines that we previously cut out. One thing that I neglected to do was to make my stencil slightly smaller than my sunflower outline, but it turned out to be a happy accident. If I couldn't get the outline to sit exactly on top of the sunflower, it just looked like some extra petals behind the sunflower. So don't stress if you can't get it to align perfectly, or just make the stencil a tad bit smaller than the outline, and you'll be just fine. sunflowers it overlaid with another one so I'll add the outline to this one on my next layer along with my quote. You guys already know that I love some sparkle so for this epoxy layer I wanted to add some extra sparkle by adding some more glitter. I used sunshine from PDB Creative Studio and mixed it in with my epoxy. This will save me an epoxy step. If you place the glitter directly on top of the epoxy that's totally fine just be sure to seal that glitter with another layer of epoxy before you move on.
After this layer is cured, we're ready to add our decal, and in my case, my extra sunflower outline. Epoxy till smooth and you'll be all done. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Have fun making your ink and glitter sunflower tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>